Hi. In this tutorial, we'll see the second step of the Dart challenge, which consists on the completely online execution of an experiment. In this case, we'll use the Science Gateway of ChainRed's project, which is also in, in the project homepage. Uh, this Science Gateway uh, encapsulates under this really simple interface a, a lot of distributed application that can be employed by the scientist. In this case, we'll use Molon Portlet, Molon application, which uh, gathers information from a database located in the previous step and uh, employs it to calculate the molar absorption coefficient for a different molecules. To do so, uh, we first identify ourselves in the in the portal. As you can see there are many different identification ways. In this case I'm using my uh, EGI certificate and that's it. I'm I mean as you've seen it's really straightforward. So we want to use Molon application. Okay. Uh, here you have different input ways. In this case, we are entering information from the previous database. So you introduce the you input the, the URL, click submit and it's automatically submitted to a grid infrastructure. As you've seen it's really straightforward. With just this we are using a grid. It's really really fast. Or of course you can use a local file. So you go to wherever you have it, which in my case is here. Input in name, for example, Molon input file, click submit, and again it's been submitted to the grid. Our local file has been uploaded to the system and then it will process on a, a distributed environment. Of course you want to see how, how it's going. It's as easy as clicking in the my workspace to see the yours. This is the one we have sort them by submission. So the, the ones that have been submitted and these are previous ones that has already been executed. You can just click on the results, download it and you get the, the information. As you've seen, it looks uh, really simple. Not because it's simple, but because we have put a lot of effort on creating this this interface. We have uh, identified the user. We have created a, a robot certificate to submit the desired task to the grid. Then we have recovered the, the execution and present it to the user so he can download it with a single link. It's pretty complex, but still I 